Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg. I'm an Atlanta area a consumer bankruptcy attorney. And the other day I was talking to a potential client about whether or not she needed to file bankruptcy. And one of the questions that came up is, should she tell her creditors, in this case the collection agencies, that she is thinking about filing bankruptcy? Is there any pro, any, any good or bad out, out of doing that? And I thought about that, and really there's pros and cons. There's no definite answer to that. Let me kind of give you my thoughts on that. Uh, the pro is, the pros are that number one, um, you may buy yourself a little bit of time. I mean, if you tell a creditor that you're going to file bankruptcy, the creditor may decide, you know, let's focus on people who are a better chance of getting a recovery from and not focus on this person who's thinking about filing bankruptcy. Secondly, if you have an attorney already, the creditor really should not be t talking to you. They should be talking to your attorney. So it may get you get them off your back a little bit. And it also may give you a little bit, number three, it could give you a little bit of satisfaction and you're able to give some answer to the creditor. They're calling you and harassing you, saying, pay me, pay me. And finally, you have something to say, look, I'm not going to be able to pay you. I'm filing bankruptcy. Leave me alone. And there's something kind of psychically satisfying about that, I guess you could say. Um, on the other hand, uh, you got to be real careful if you do this. And the biggest reason is that if you say you've talked to a bankruptcy lawyer and then later on you decide you're not going to file bankruptcy, but you borrow money, you take an advance, cash advance, then basically you've given the creditor, creditor ammunition to say that when you took out this cash advance or borrowed more money, that you really had no intention of paying it back. You've already talked to a bankruptcy lawyer, you understand what bankruptcy discharge is, so it can really backfire on you if you don't actually turn, end up filing. Um, the other thing is you're actually kind of giving away your strategy, and I, I don't think there's really a whole lot of reason to do that. Uh, again, whether you decide to file bankruptcy or not, um, that's really your business. That's nobody else's business. And, and my feeling is if you think you're going to file and the creditor's calling you, just continue to either evade them or give them nonsense answers, whatever, I'll try to pay you when I can. Uh, but until you actually file, I'm not a big fan of necessarily making that threat unless you're absolutely going to do it and it's just a matter of getting the paperwork together and, and, and actually pulling the trigger and filing the, the bankruptcy case. So it's just a judgment call. Um, obviously, if you end up not filing, you can only use this once and they won't believe you from, from then on. Um, but it's really one of these things where um, you've got to make a decision whether it really makes sense for you. Uh, and like I said, if you're really not going to file, I would not use it. I would not give the name of a bankruptcy lawyer out. I would not threaten to file bankruptcy unless you're really prepared to do that. And certainly don't give it the name of an attorney out if you've not talked to that attorney, if you've only talked to him or her once or twice, because uh, I've gotten many calls from creditors saying, you know, Joe Smith said that he's retained you to file bankruptcy. And of course, I don't, if I don't know who Joe Smith is, I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to hurt Joe Smith's uh, situation. But I'll just simply say, well, uh, Mr. Smith has not made any final decisions about that, and uh, he'll have to let you know. Uh, what he decides. So again, it puts the attorney in an awkward position. I suspect there's some attorneys will say, I've never heard of Joe Smith. Uh, and I don't, again, whether that's uh, appropriate or not, that's not for me to say, but I typically wouldn't say that. But again, you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you're, um, you're, you're crying wolf and it later on turns out you don't file and it can again backfire on you as far as the creditor stepping up the harassment or pursuing a lawsuit sooner than they, rather than they would later. So bottom line is, uh, if you're talking to creditors, uh, whether to use the bankruptcy threat is a, a judgment call. I tend to fall on the side of not using it unless you're literally, uh, you've paid the, paid the lawyer, you're ready to go, and this is simply a matter of buying yourself a week or two to get the paperwork together. So that's my view. You may think differently. If you do, love to hear from you. Uh, please let me know in a comment here or co contact me by email. Uh, let me know what you think. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would appreciate that very much. So until next time, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, and have a nice afternoon.